Attention all anatomy aficionados. This is the anatomy of the shoulder. To begin, the human shoulder is made up of three bones, the clavicle or collarbone, the scapula or shoulder blade, and the humerus or upper arm bone, as well as associated muscles, ligaments and tendons. The articulations between the bones of the shoulder make up the shoulder joints. The shoulder joint, also known as the glenohumeral joint, is the major joint of the shoulder but can more broadly include the acromioclavicular joint. In human anatomy, the shoulder joint comprises the part of the body where the humerus attaches to the scapula, and the head sits in the glenoid cavity. The shoulder is the group of structures in the region of the joint. The shoulder joint is also the main joint of the shoulder. It is a ball and socket joint that allows the arm to rotate in a circular fashion or to hinge out and up away from the body. The joint capsule is a soft tissue envelope that encircles the glenohumeral joint and attaches to the scapula, humerus, and head of the biceps. It is lined by a thin, smooth synovial membrane. The rotator cuff is a group of four muscles that surround the shoulder joint and contribute to the shoulder's stability. The muscles of the rotator cuff are supraspinatus, subscapularis, infraspinatus, and teres minor. The cuff adheres to the glenohumeral capsule and attaches to the humeral head. The shoulder must be mobile enough for the wide range actions of the arms and hands, but stable enough to allow for actions such as lifting, pushing, and pulling. Also, the shoulder consists of a ball and socket joint formed by the humerus and scapula and their surrounding structures, ligaments, muscles, tendons, which support the bones and maintain the relationship of one to another. These supporting structures attach to the clavicle, humerus, and scapula, the latter providing the glenoid cavity. Acromion and coracoid processes. The main joint of the shoulder is the shoulder joint, or glenohumeral joint, between the humerus and the glenoid process of the scapular. The acromioclavicular joint and sternoclavicular joint also play a role in shoulder movements. White hyaline cartilage on the ends of the bones, called articular cartilage, allows the bones to glide and move on each other, and the joint space is surrounded by a synovial membrane. Around the joint space are muscles, the rotator cuff, which directly surrounds and attaches to the shoulder joint, and other muscles that help provide stability and facilitate movement. That's all for now. Thanks for listening. Please comment and subscribe for more anatomy content. Take care.